Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bolt. Guys, in this video, we are going to create a lightning web component, which would be having a button. And on the click of that button, we are going to call the server side Apex, which would be calling the prompt template from our system. So in this video, I'm going to explain what are the methods of connect APIs, ING prompt template attributes that you can use whenever you have to call a prompt templates from Apex or from lightning web components. And of course, we would be using agent force wipes to design the lightning web component in this video. So let's start with this video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bold. All right, guys. Uh, so here as well, I'm using my same fictitious company, which is GoAdventure or Adventure Cloud, to give you this demo. So in this environment, GoAdventure, I have added Adventure Master here, which is basically having adventure name, description, starting price, difficulty level, and duration. And uh, the idea behind having this kind of data is to create a prompt, which can give us social media posts so that we can directly copy and paste it to the social media, or maybe we can integrate it with the social media post. So the demo is inspired by one of the Agent Force uh, workshops that I have attended. So if you have already attended any of the workshop, you must have seen similar functionality. So we'll start with the prompt. I have already built the prompt and Apex code is also ready. So in this video, I'm just going to show it to you and explain how it is going to be. So I'll go to prompt builder. I'll just give you a quick demo of the prompt, like what I have done in it. Okay, now this is my prompt called adventure promotion. Here I'm accepting one parameter from the, uh, from the execution level where Whoever is going to execute the prompt has to send the activity master ID so the system can understand for which specific adventure it has to generate the social media post. So I have added the details here about the role of the agent, the LLM who is which is responsible to generate the prompt. I have added formatting rules as well. Uh, I have added how the font should be italic bold bold italics and uh, italic only and also i have added some specific instruction which the agent has to follow for example the title including the name of the adventure uh, there should be section including the activity characteristic such as the description difficulty duration and starting price and the final response should have the next format the format is going to be Twitter, LinkedIn, Slack, and these would be the parameters which we will be using while we are fetching data from this prompt, and we will be displaying it in our Lightning Web component. So pretty basic prompt, okay? Nothing extraordinary here. So I'll go back, and now I'm going to show you my Apex. So this is the Apex that I have here, which is having a block of code where we are using connect API I'm seen from template attributes. So the Apex code is also pretty straightforward. Uh, it is having a method. It's an aura enabled method because we will be calling it using a lightning web component. It's having a single method called generate social media post, which is accepting adventure activity ID because based on the ID only, it will be able to return the data. So here we have created a map of ID. We have created an input parameter here where we are passing the adventure activity, which is basically the parameter that we are expecting in the prompt. Then here we have configured the invocation parameters. For example, we have connect API Einstein prompt template generation input. And then we have Einstein, Einstein additional config, config input is also here. And uh, here, if you will see, I have also added my template name when I'm calling the service. Uh, so to call the service, you have to use Einstein prompt template generation representation. And uh, using this connect API, you would be able to call any prompt template available in your system. Okay. 
So that is the code block which you will be able to find online. I'll be posting it on my blog as well. It is more, more or less going to be same for other prompt templates as well. The parameters may change, whatever you're going to use. And here I'm returning the response.text, which I will be fetching in my Lightning Web component so that I can show data in different section in my Lightning Web components. So this is the Apex, and uh, we are going to place the Lightning Web component in the Adventure Master Record. For example, let's say if we are having Tether Survival Experience. So we'll try to paste this component, have this component here on the right side, the empty space, OK? We'll be using Agent Force Swipe to generate the component uh, and deploy it as well. So let's try to provide as much data to Agent Force Swipe as we can so that it can generate the Lightning Web component accordingly, OK? So let's say theater LWC will provide name as well. Adventure Social LWC, OK? So I'm mentioning which would have a button. And uh, let's give button also name. Generate social media post. And three sections. Let me zoom it a little bit so that you can Okay. So three section underneath each other. LinkedIn, Twitter, Slack. On the click of the button call apex what was the apex last name here social media post controller and generate social media post okay generate social media post and pass the record ID. Pass the record ID to this method. Then get the return result, which would be social media post for LinkedIn, Twitter, and Slack, and show it in their designated sections in LWC. OK. Uh, the LWC or let's provide him more let's provide it more context for example i will have the lwc on my record detail page for account sorry not account adventure master object so we have provided detail uh, what to do how to do and uh, what to use, what is needed to do that specific activity. I think we have covered most of the things. Now let's try to execute this command, okay? Just a second. Okay, now we will execute it from here. And as I have checked this edit checkbox, it, that means it is not going to take confirmation from me before pasting the code, okay? 
So let's try to execute it. And let's see how Agent Force by eBay is going to generate the Lightning Web component, link it with this Apex, and uh, going to get data as well. So on the left pane, as you can see, it is working right now. And we have received an error here where it says, OK. So whenever, in any case, let's say if you are going to receive an error, it is automatically going to try to solve it based on the knowledge it is having. And then it will be proceeding further. If you are having this edit checkbox unchecked, which is basically allow agent force to modify files within your workspace without your permission, actually. So agent force is going to take a permission after every action. For example, that this is the code and this file I would like to create. You will do accept. And after that, only agent force is going to have ability to have ability to create the file in your environment. Okay. So let's see, it is still going on. I can already see my meta file here where it has already mentioned the specific object for which I will be using it. I do see master label and other related details as well. Okay, so here is the Lightning Web component it has generated so far. And okay, yeah, it is still editing. It may take some time, okay. Depends on the complexity, depends on the complexity of the task. So here it says, Auto approve 20 APA request. Would you like to reset the count and proceed with the task? So I'll do proceed. Okay. Now, what exactly it is trying to do? So Agent Force wants to uh, create a comprehensive to do list to track our progress. Want to execute this command? Okay. It's still even this. Edit mode is on. It is going to it is going to take your permission before executing any command in terminal. So it says task complete. I have successfully created a component and uh, generate social media post button. So unfortunately, we cannot check it here because it is having it is having this uh, apex connected here. So it won't be working in the single Lightning Web component preview. But uh, the code looks fine to me. Code looks good to me. So here, basically, it is parsing the JSON. And uh, accordingly, we are getting data, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Slack, as I had these parameters in my prompt as well. And the LWC is also looking good. So lightning button is here, spinner, great. Uh, text area, text area for Slack, LinkedIn, and Twitter as well. So. Even though agent is working here at the end, you would be the one who would be doing the review. Okay. So I have reviewed it. File looks good to me. Now let's see if it can deploy it. Please deploy this LWC. Okay. It is asking a confirmation to run this deployment command. Okay, and during deployment as well, if you're going to, if it is going to have any error, it is trying to, it will try to solve that error. And then it will try to ask for your permission again. So as you can see, it is getting some, I believe, errors while deploying this. So let's try to do it again. I think it is using the wrong command here. Okay. So it says deployed. It has deployed this LWC bundle now. Now let's do one thing. Let's go to the environment and try to check it out. OK, so the task is done here. I'll refresh it. And let's see how it is going to work.
So what we are going to do here is I'll quickly do edit page. OK, now what was the company name? Adventure Social LWC. I have created multiple components before this demo just to test it out. Adventure Social LLC, this is a new one. And it is having generate social media, LinkedIn post, Twitter post, Slack post. Save it. OK. Now we'll go back. OK, now try to get the result. So it has added spinner as well uh, for loading purpose. OK, so here's the result. But if you'll notice, I had asked the agent to have it underneath each other, but uh, it is having in a single row. So we can ask the agent to modify the component again. So we'll do modify. LWC to have LinkedIn, Twitter, and Slack section underneath each other in separate rows for better GUI and visibility. OK. So if it was not having this Apex connected with it, it would have been very cool to see the agent working on your left side and uh, the Lightning local development server getting updates on the right-hand corner. But unfortunately, as it is having the Apex, we won't be able to review it. So as you can see, it has updated the file already. So earlier, the column size was, I believe, one of three. And now it is one of one. And it is already recommending to deploy it because it is updated. OK, let's try to deploy it. And let's see if we are able to see the latest output, if the cached memory allows to see the output. In LWC, I have noticed this thing. Until the cache is refreshed, it is not going to share. OK. So here's the latest data where LinkedIn, Twitter, and Slack are underneath each other. Now let's try to generate social media post about this specific adventure, which is desert survival experience. And here it is. So here is the LinkedIn post, Twitter post, and Slack post just ready to copy and paste from here to your social media environments. So that's how you can call your prompt templates using your Lightning Web Components or Apex. If you're interested in the whole code and trying and uh, you want to modify it, uh, no need to worry. I'll be posting it on my blog, which is salesforcepole.com. So there will be a blog available by the time video is being released. And also, I will be posting it on GitHub. So this is my GitHub. I'll be linking this link as well in the video description. So if you're interested to just download the code, prompt template, everything, and give it a try, you would be able to do that. So that it is for today, guys. If you like today's video, make sure you hit the subscribe if you're not already. And uh, make sure to share this video with your friends and colleagues. So that it is for today, guys. Thanks for watching.